China's infrastructure and engineering capabilities are evolving so fast. As a result, the country has built a lot of amazing and unbelievable mega projects and engineering marvels locally and abroad. So having said that, join us as we show you the most recent shocking engineering marvels and amazing mega projects being built by China. Take a look at this. This mega project is so gigantic. The main bridge of Chang'an Bridge, the first fully fabricated cross-sea bridge in East China's Fujian province after the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge was successfully connected. The steel box girder at the connecting section is 72 meters long, 53 meters wide, and 3.5 meters high, and weighs 2,197.2 tons. It is the widest steel box girder of the whole bridge and the widest steel box girder hoisted in China. The Chang'an Bridge is an important part of Fujian's highway network. It is expected to open to traffic before the 2023 Spring Festival. Another one in here we have China state-owned oil and gas giant, China National Offshore Oil Corporation that has stopped commercial flows of oil and gas from shale exploration well in the South China Sea, the first successfully drilled shale oil well offshore. The country's first offshore shale oil exploration well, Wei Yi Wan, located at the southwestern trough of the Baidu Gulf Basin in the South China Sea, recorded daily production of 20 cubic meters of oil and 1,589 cubic meters of natural gas, according to CNOOC. Here is the 7.8 km long trunk highway tunnel designed to cross the Taihu Lake that has cast its first roof concrete in East China's Jiangsu province. The tunnel as part of the provincial highway 341 links Mashan and Zhouqi, both towns in Jiangsu's Wuxi city with a shortcut under one of the largest freshwater lakes in China. The roof concrete is 1.4 meters thick and 20 meters long, covering nearly 1,200 square meters or about three standard basketball courts. The main bridge project of China's first sea-crossing high-speed railway connecting the cities of Fuzhou and Xiamen in East China's Fujian province became fully connected. This project paves the way for the further construction of the railway which is expected to open to public in the near future. With a design speed of 350 km per hour, the 277 km long railway is expected to slash the travel time between the two cities within one hour. Take a look at this giant Chinese made wind turbine jacket. The last batch of wind turbine jackets for Sea Green Offshore Wind Project, manufactured by China's offshore oil engineering company, was shipped from Gaolan Port in South China's Zhuhai. China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region has invested more than 51.83 billion yuan in road construction from January to August of this year.
Local authorities said a total of 82 construction programs will be initiated this year with an investment of over 80 billion yuan. Eighty of the 82 programs will be national and provincial highways, of which 24 are new programs. With the last tunnel drilled through, the construction of a railway that will allow China's high-speed trains to reach the China-Vietnam border has made a significant step forward. The 46.9 km railway will link the cities of Fengchenggang and Dongxing, both in South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. China has completed the track laying for its sea crossing high speed railway in East China's Fujian province. The vital 277.42 km component of China's 8th vertical and 8th horizontal high speed railway network links the provincial capital, Fuzhou, with the port city of Xiamen. A double-deck tunnel under Yangchang Lake opened to traffic in Suzhou City, East China's Jiangsu Province, the first double-deck tunnel constructed beneath lakes in China. This also marks the completion of the North Line of Middle Ring Road in Suzhou, a key project of Jiangsu Province. And that brought us to the end of this video. So if you found this video amazing, please drop a like and share this with others. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.